In this video I'd like to talk about a few Course in Miracles lessons and my life and my experience through these Course in Miracles lessons and their meaning for me. <coughs> so um, the first lesson is lesson 338 from A Course in Miracles. I'm affected only by my thoughts and the I, my ego I, or my ego mind that is affected by my own thoughts I think a particular type of thoughts which are belief systems or beliefs which are deeply entrenched thoughts within uh, uh, my ego, my conscious mind and my unconscious mind of my ego uh, and, ha and uh, the seeing now of the powerful effects that thoughts have if I hold them in mind and also i uh, like to also mention uh, lesson 76 from A Course in Miracles, I'm under no laws but God's. And just to paraphrase the gist of this lesson for me, it's like I'm not under the laws of medicine, I'm not under the laws of finance and money, I'm not under the laws of uh, relationships like reciprocity and uh, give and take in relationships or special relationships. I'm not under those laws from uh from my uh, with my own personal beliefs and the collective beliefs of of humanity so a little bit about my uh journey uh, and in my early years i would say that um, i was born a what i'd call i mean i was born with spirit a, a bit a big discontent and a feeling of being un, un, not at ease within myself and that manifested right from an early age with food addiction. What I mean by food addiction was that there was the overconsumption of food, which gave me this feeling of sedation, of distraction from the inner uh, pain and angst that I felt within myself. I found that was progressive and, uh, and continued on with life and got more uh, and more worse, uh, leading to obesity and uh, health problems starting at an early age like anemia, uh, constipation uh, and, uh, very, uh, you know, and uh, various other things, uh, halitosis you know uh, as a child so you know my, my, it was almost like I felt well you're fat, um, your hair's falling out, you're bald uh, that was happening in the te my teens and and um, going to fat clinics for my obesity and you're ugly that was my inner self talk and that escalated um, and then um, as that escalated um, eventually my methods primary methods of distracting with addiction increased to compulsive behaviors or dependency issues around work and workalism and also around the opposite sex and women dependency issues and addiction uh, in that area as well uh, I called them my unholy trinity uh, food work and, and women uh, which I was you know trying to control uh, those aspects of my life to get some kind of relief from the inner spiritual angst I felt I didn't know it was spiritual angst at the time uh, so at the age of um, 30 I was working in the stock market, market. I was working extremely hard um, and I realized that I'd get what I call adrenaline addiction which is kind of like an anesthetic to, to work at such an extreme intensity in such a high pressure environment. Uh, food, you know, food um, absorption in food in the evenings just to get that sedation and numb out. And also, you know, preoccupation with with women and uh, fantasy. So that led to, at the age of 30, a business flight back from New York to London, and my feet swelling up like balloons, and I literally having to take my shoes off because my feet were swelling so rapidly that they no longer fitted in my shoes. I uh, had a blood test done on arrival to London. My mother was terrified. It seemed all of a sudden I was in, in the Royal Free Hospital with the doctors taking about 10 tubes of blood at a time, telling me I had uh, uh, acute kidney failure and they didn't know what was causing it. 
and essentially I'd lost already 70% of my kidney function. I realized by the way they were sort of rushing around and uh, uh, yeah, I was displaying such a fast demise in my health and, uh, and I realized I was facing death with kidney failure and potentially uh, my death was imminent. So it was in that, uh, it was a miraculous set of uh, circumstances in which I finally turned to God and surrendered um, in that hospital bed. And the fear, the terror, uh, the shock, uh, the fear of losing my life, it vanished in a split second and there was a heavenly stillness and peace and love uh, uh, beyond anything I'd ever experienced in, in, in this world, in, this, in the life I'd had to that date. It was definitely a, a spiritual experience of a timeless, uh, eternal peace and love. And it was electrifying. I actually also uh, had a spiritual message as well to find a spiritual solution. So that spiritual experience and the message was electrifying for me. And it led a, a, a long journey of uh, exploring spirituality and different types of spirituality in a group I had at a mentor and he um, uh, he told me to watch a, a DVD and I watched the DVD of this old man um, and as soon as the man started speaking on the TV uh, I, I went into a state of, of bliss with the tingling going up my spine. It was another very extraordinary uh, uh, spiritual or mystical experience. I, I knew intuitively that I had to meet this man and I flew out to uh, Sedona, Arizona to meet him and um, and yes also uh, later found out he was a Course in Miracles teacher and had uh, and had run his own uh, Course in Miracles group where um, uh, lots and lots of miracles were experienced uh, 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 in that group. He also ran an attitudinal healing centre for those with uh, grave and serious illnesses and there was miraculous recoveries from all kinds of life-threatening illnesses and he himself recovered from about 23 illnesses, many of them life-threatening as he applied the Course in Miracles. Now lesson 14 of the Course in Miracles um, God did not create a meaningless world, God did not create cancer and so it is not real, God did not create heart attacks and so it is not real. Uh, says that in, 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 you know, that God has not created these seeming nightmares that seem to exist in, in my perception of the world. Uh, but they, they're not part of uh, God's world. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite, also one of my favorite lessons, Lesson 76, you know, uh, that I'm only subject to God's laws. Um, you know, I'm not subject to the laws of medicine, um, not subject to the laws of money or, or relationships. And it always, you know, this thing of having magical belief systems or believing in magic in the world and that the real power and love is not in God and the what I call the glorious holy instant. So since, um, I mean this man spoke about what I wanted which was recovery from serious illness and pain and suffering. So I diligently started doing uh, the course lessons uh, I think approximately some 16, 17, 18 years ago uh, and still do my course lessons uh, on a daily basis. Uh, and he talked about the, the importance of applying the Course in Miracles to the problems I'm facing in life by doing the daily lessons. But, but also lesson 14, like if I seem to suffer from something, uh, then dis, you know, I can say God did not create it, it's not real. You know, in that way cancel my thoughts, my belief systems, that I think it's real, whatever I'm suffering from. So I had kidney failure. I was eventually on a dialysis machine eight hours a day to keep me alive. Uh, I was having uh, asthma inhalers because I was, I was finding it, they were prescribed to me, difficult to breathe. Um, uh, special medication for gout, 
which it, which you I'd get gout attacks with these my feet would start and toes would suddenly swell up very very rapidly with excruciating pain as the skin expanded and sometimes have to take a walking stick out with me so I started diligently um, set, you know cancelling my beliefs by saying God did not create um, asthma and said so is not real God did not create uh, kidney failure so it is not real God did not create asthma and so it's not real I had a degree in, in biochemistry and I also knew that I could cancel my belief systems in everything that science knew and believed all the ideas in my personal belief systems and what even the collective of humanity believe, believed what I believe of course calls the shared collective illusions and belief systems so I thought, well, you know, <clears throat> I can definitely cancel those. I know what the systems are. Like with gout, um, the idea that I've got high uric acid levels, possibly after eating certain foods or my kidney is not functioning. So I you know, uh, could say God did not create high uric acid levels in my blood and so it is not real. Or God did not create kidney failure. God did not create exhaustion and so it is not real. Uh, God did not create a the feeling of suffocation and so that is not real. So I did a lot of uh, spiritual work, you know, um, as the co as Course in Miracles told me, I'm under no laws but God's, but I am affected by the thoughts I hold in mind, as it says in Lesson 338. And, uh, you know, this beautiful lesson of Lesson 14 that, you know, God has not created, I can say that over and over again. And so I did. Apart from doing my course lessons, yeah, I could see now um, that... Um, if I had an entrenched belief, these repeating thoughts in my conscious and unconscious mind that uh, I've got kidney failure, I've got asthma, I've got gout, you know, they, these thoughts would then mean my, percep my perception of suffering, of having these illnesses would continue in my perception. And uh, I was so grateful that others had applied the course and experienced what I could only call as miracles in their lives. So I diligently did this, and um, and after three to five years, it seemed to take me three to five years of applying the course, and also specifically applying lesson 14, God did not create whatever it was that I was showing up in my life in terms of illness, uh, and repeatedly doing that over and over again, because I could see that if I'm holding a thought in my conscious or unconscious mind powerfully and strongly, that's repeating uh, over and over again. I needed to apply the course with e equal uh, with equal effect to undo the damage of holding such thoughts in my ego mind. So after uh, within three to five years, um, I was going to my asthma clinic, and they would check my lung capacity. And they one day said to me, "Your lungs are absolutely fine. Uh, um, so we're discharging you now from this uh, asthma clinic." You know, uh, and uh, that was great. And then um, with the um, the gout, you know, eventually the attacks became less and less, and uh, and se seemed to not happen for a very long time. And I was I was now when I reported that they discharged me from the rheumatology clinic at hospital. And um, and uh, you know, and as I was doing the. Um, Course in Miracles, um, suddenly one day they told me we've got a, I was on the ki um, transplant waiting list for a kidney and suddenly they told me we've got a kidney and for you come on into hospital, had the operation and uh, that was miraculous and there's so many miracles happening with that which I won't go into now but it, everything seemed to happen in divine order uh, with great miracles um, that kidney is now healthily functioning in me for more than 10 years but they did give me, they said, oh, you've got a kidney transplant, so um, we got to give you like this huge um, list of 13 medications to take every day. And, uh, you know, uh, the first day they gave me the milk, I was carrying two huge carrier bags full of just medicines that I had to put in my mouth every day. Seemed like a job just to sort of organize all my medicines that I had to take. So I thought, well, I've had so many miracles applying the course to my illnesses that I'm going to apply the Course of Miracles to these medications and the potential side effects that I may believe they have or the collective believes that these medications would have. And I'm going to take them. 
but we're going to vigorously apply the Course in Miracles to it. God did not create side effects from this medication. God did not create that type of side effect. Uh, God did not create uh, the need for medication. Um, and I knew that if I believed in the positive sides of the effect, so I thought it was useful to pop it in. God did not create, but God did not create uh, adverse effects from taking uh, gout medication. God did not create adverse effects from taking blood pressure uh, medication and so on and so forth. So I applied that because I wasn't too happy with having to take so many medications on a daily basis with so many potential side effects. And it was within two years, uh, over the two year period applying the course to my list of 13 medication, uh, it seemed that one by one the doctor said to me, um, you know, he was checking my bloods and everything and could see what these medications were facing doing. And he would say, oh, you don't need this medication. It'd be one me medication less. And then I'd see him again and say, you don't need that medication any longer. It'd be another medication less. And then after about two years, uh, and I do actually have evidence for this because they give you a list of all your medications. For about two years, um, I was now down to one medicine. And my, uh, my renal consultant at the hospital said to me, uh, I don't know of any other patient, transplant patient, who's taking less medication than you. So he seemed quite amazed. I was very happy with, with that. And then I popped in, it was quite a miraculous day, popped in to see the pharmacist who then <coughs> looked at me and sort of chuckled and said, oh, you're going to put us out of, of business. Uh, as she looked and saw, now I was now down to just one medicine a day, which I felt was quite a miraculous uh, shift from the 13 medication. And now it's about 10 years. I, I'm, I'm on now two medication a day. So, um, so <coughs> and I'm very, very happy with uh, my efforts in applying the course to the number of medications that I have been taking. So, um, and you know, I mean, health was the major area that I applied the Course in Miracles and filtered uh, uh, the lessons for. And I can just see the power of my belief systems, my thoughts uh, that I hold in mind, which I'm affected by, and the collective, and my diligence and, ne and necessity to release those. And uh, and I feel very, very blessed um, for the Course in Miracles and the great power uh, and effect it's had on the quality of my life and the freedom from suffering. And I, I'm, I'm truly grateful for all those who apply the Course in Miracles in their lives and, and the Course in Miracles teachers um, that I've had the great privilege to meet.